Last week on December 12th is the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, which for Mexicans is a principal celebration. So Blessed Mother appeared to Juan Diego in December of 1531. So we're coming up in a few years on the 500th anniversary of the Guadalupe apparitions. And Mary left the image of her appearance on his tilma, which is a uh, clothing woven of cactus fiber. And it should have turned to dust about 450 years ago, but it still is beautifully intact. And here is the, the head of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The whole image is, is her full body and presence, but uh, there's beautiful symbolism all around. So Mary's outer veil represents heaven with the stars and the blue. Her inner veil represents the colors of earth. Um, in the full image, she's dancing because her knees are bent. Uh, she's pregnant, symbolized by this black band hanging from her hand. And most importantly, she appears as a native woman. And it was this apparition that triggered the conversion of millions of people in Mexico to Catholicism because they realized that, that God loved them as they were. So Catholicism was no longer the religion of the oppressor, but it was their religion. Last week I was blessed to do eight celebrations of Our Lady of Guadalupe all over the diocese. Each one was different, and yet each one was beautifully the same. Some had Aztec dancers, some not. They all celebrated the Eucharist. It's also a beautiful tradition called Las Mañanitas. So early, early in the morning before dawn, on the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, people gather in church for songs and prayers to greet the morning and to greet the Blessed Mother. So I did Las Mañanitas at Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish um, at 5 a.m. on December 12th. This picture that you're seeing was a gift given to me at the end of the Mass held at Bishop Knoll uh, for St. Margaret Mary Parish. And uh, someone handmade the frame, someone from the parish. I want to find out who that is because that person just did an amazingly beautiful job. I know you'd agree. So even though it's later than December 12th uh, in this season of Advent, we, we lift up the Blessed Mother as, as the primal figure of Advent, the one who prepares the way, literally, for God to enter the world.